breaking news, Nigerians. Not a one more go see for ghetto for this country. This will shock you. As Mazen Namdikano's family cried out that Nigeria DSS is purposely removing Mazen Namdikano's medication in order to kill him. What are they really trying to achieve by this? This is no longer a joke. And why are they doing this? Una no one release them. Una see they remove the medications. And you know, say this man, not they okay, not it is sick. Since he was um, kidnapped from uh, Kenya and all that, all the tortures and everything, this man don't they sick. Una no go allow and say in doctor. If we, so the medication now, when they, they give them, they constantly they remove them. So make him not see the one when he go take. May they just buy him. Now, this is really worrisome. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for let's stopping by. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Secret is out. How as DSS purposely removed Namdekanu's medication in order to kill him, IPOP leader's younger brother, Emmanuel Kano, cries out. Nigerians, when are they telling us, say, all this waka when Igbo leaders, they waka, say, you know, go just, you know, go take any effect, you know, go just make any sense. Do you know why? When you don't already say your brother, it go hard for you to go back again to say, I beg, I won't return the money when I say salam. That is what is happening. They are stuck. It just be like, when they go come, release Mazin Nam, they can't do this, this and that. For back, they go go say, no release them. The other day, I popped it to I pop uh, members, you know, uh, said uh, there's a report, they said, uh, the Igbo leaders, they are afraid of Mazin Nam, they can't release. So they will do everything, anything possible to make sure he doesn't leave that DSS custody. So most of them you see that say it's releasing, they just they talk and make it not be like say they are not among those people who have said Mazin Nam the Kanu should be released. I said it. When Southeast governors visited the AGF, the federal government of Nigeria they said nothing about that visit. The 50 lawmakers from different lawmak uh, from different regions and uh, political parties, they wrote to President Bola Mektinobo, they same this matter. Are we still talking about the Southeast senators who also visited the federal government of Nigeria in this matter? They not still talk anything. Now only those when we can go, now them, their voice with the hear, how they take go, which they don't tell the federal government of Nigeria. But we're waiting for the federal government of Nigeria don't reply them. Gone, 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 gone. Nothing. So this is their plan. And this will be the biggest mistake ever they will ever make. This man, he gets a lot of followers. And when the matter will take bad for them, they say, this matter, when they day into, has been settled since 2022. Because court don't discharge them. Court don't discharge and acquitted him. So why are they still keeping him? You don't want to let him go. You don't still want him to take his medication properly. So they won't buy him. That is just it. This is really a bad game to play. So they should not just think about it. This is a bad game to play. Nigerian government, they, they just have to think twice. The latest... Um, the latest news about uh, Mazen Namdekano was the League of Igbo Youth Lawyers. They asked President Bola Tinubu to relieve the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Namdekano, as compensation for the Southeast non-participation in the recent nationwide hunger protests. The executive director of this group, Stanley Okafor, 
made the appeal during a media briefing on Monday, stating that this would serve as a reciprocal, a reciprocal gesture for the region's peaceful conduct during the 10 day protest. Okay, and a a, a demonstration of goodwill towards the southeast. He said, we are appealing to the government of President Bola Tinubu to please release, to please give us our brother and don't kill him. You hear that? Please release our brother and don't kill him. He did not commit any offense by rising up to defend his people. We are not protesting against your government, neither we are up in riot against you. We are minded Democrats who uphold Democrat ideas. The region will continue to support President Tinubu throughout its tenor, regardless of circumstances. Any uh, re-evaluation of their stance will occur during the next election cycle. So you see, you see, you see, he said, release our brother, don't kill him. He committed no crime, you know, for standing against injustice against his people. And this one, when did he do now? What are they up to? I better make a drop the matter for you. Kindly drop your comment below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Share this video. Let it go viral. Thank you and bye for now.